Hi and welcome to second lecture of the module Water. I am Audumbar Bhatti. In last lecture, we talk about impurities in water. You already know now the definition of what hardness of water is about. You have certain idea what is mean by hard water and soft water. We learned that hardness is of two types, temporary and permanent and you also know which methods one can choose to remove such hardness well now in this lecture i am going to explain how to calculate hardness of water when concentration of different salts present in water is known you know that extent of hardness is measured in terms of concentration of salts contributing to hardness and it is usually expressed in terms of equivalent amount of calcium carbonate. Here is the formula to calculate CaCO3 equivalents for any salts. Mass of hardness producing substance into chemical equivalents or molar mass of calcium carbonate upon chemical equivalents or molar mass of hardness producing substance. If you have this formula and practice to calculate molar mass of chemical compounds, then you can solve these problems. Let's take this example. Here concentration of different salts is given. And you have to calculate temporary and total hardness. You can make table like this and put impurities or salts here and then concentration of each salt then you need to check which salts are really responsible for hardness you know that calcium and magnesium salts only produce hardness in water so salts other than calcium and magnesium like NaCl or KCl etc should not be considered then you have to calculate molar mass of hardness producing salts. You know that molar mass or molecular weight of compound is nothing but sum of the atomic weights of the atoms which form the compound. So in this fashion you can calculate molar mass of any compound or salt. Then calculate CaC3 equivalents for each hardness producing salt by using above formula that is mass of hardness producing substance into molar mass of CoCO3 that is 100 upon molar mass of hardness producing salt. You will get answer in milligrams per liter or ppm then differentiate given salts into two types temporary and permanent you know that bicarbonates and carbonates of calcium and magnesium produce temporary or alkaline hardness chlorides nitrates sulfates of calcium and magnesium produce permanent or non-alkaline hardness sum of CaCO3 equivalents of temporary hardness producing salts will give you temporary hardness and similarly you can calculate permanent hardness that is again sum of hard permanent hardness producing salts sum of temporary and permanent hardness will give you total hardness here are two numericals for practice my advice is to try to do these problems yourself you can simply follow the steps by using of which we solved last one but try to do it on your own and see how your answers compare to mine thank you so much We'll see you next time.